Hey guys, Ryan Earnhardt here from creativesoundlab.tv. Well, today we're gonna to be checking out three different bass tones. I've been doing some experimenting, been filming uh, for one of my new courses, and we're just gonna check out three different tones. Two of these bass heads are tube, and one of them is solid state. Uh, there's some really cool bass tones going on here, so let's get started. Watch the sin of my bones, someone help that poor old dog. So in this video, I'm going to be featuring a band called The Brothers Gillespie with a song called Bill Berry Blues. Now, as you can see, I recorded this all live. The vocal was overdubbed later, but everything here is live, and it's with a bass cabinet in the room. This was the Acoustic 150B. Uh, this is what I've been using for a while as kind of my standard bass amp. Live. Someone's gotta set these dying bushes on fire Cause I know Satan's gonna come and blow Two other amps we're gonna be checking out today is the Gretsch Super Bass and the Fender Super Twin. So let's check out our first bass tone, the Gretsch Super Bass. Someone help that poor old dog to find his way home. Someone help that poor the next amp, the Fender Super Twin. Now this is a combo amp. I'm only using the chassis in this case, and I'm plugging in to the 2x15 cabinet. Someone help that poor old dog to find his way home. Someone help that poor old dog. This amp has uh, kind of been really popular. They take the chassis, they put it in a Bandmaster uh, head, and then they have a really nice bass head, 180 watts. But it is really nice because each of the, uh, the EQ adjustments actually kind of really correspond in a nice way to the types of areas on a bass. Um, you can pull out the mids very easily. You can uh, sync the mids down in. Uh, you also have the standard uh, tone controls, so bass, trebles, things like that. But it really is a, a great clean amp where every note is articulate. Um, it still has that tube flavor though. So moving on to the Acoustic 150B. This is a solid state head. A lot of people have pointed this out on the show here. Uh, one person said, oh yeah, you know, that's like a, a Led Zeppelin kind of sound. Uh, so here it is, the Acoustic 150B. Someone help that poor old dog to find his way home. Someone help that poor old dog. Okay, so uh, I know we want to compare these back to back. So with no talking, I'll just go the Gretsch, the Fender, and the Acoustic. Here we go. Someone help that poor old dog to find his way home. Someone help that poor old dog. Someone help that poor old dog to find his way home. 
try to not necessarily match these tones, but really just pick a tone that seemed to make that amp shine. Now, there's a lot going on here. I'll have to unpack a lot of this later. Mic position, mic choice, um, the gain staging into the amp, all those things. I'm not really going into that today in this video. This was just a comparison, uh, very quickly, of three, I think, really great bass tones, but they're different in their own ways, and I had a lot of fun doing this. Now, I was kind of inspired making this video because I just had no idea how much I should have been using this Gretsch Super Bass. I mean, this thing just sat on my, uh, my shelf, and I never thought to use it. Then I thought, well, you know what? I have some good tubes. Let's Let's go for broke here. Let's, let's really see what this thing can do. So I put in some really good 6L6s. I'm really pleased with the sound. Then I'm like, well, the Super Twin you know, has all these groove tube, you know, uh, tubes in it. And I'm like, let's get rid of those. So stripped it all, put some really nice 12AX7s in there, uh, some really nice 6L6s. And those are all RCA black plates, six of them. Uh, and then I think two or three 12AX7s. Overall, I was really pleased with the tone difference. This made an amazing difference. So I'd love to know your thoughts. I'd love to know your favorite bass tone out of the three today. Be hanging out in the comments below. Yeah.